welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking about how you can effectively communicate to a first time client ensuring that you maintain the image of the organization and you have seen that person the client has come he's at the reception ushered in and now you are having a first meeting with this client and the first thing first you have to ensure that your body language maintains a posture that shows that that person is welcome most of us we don't keep the eye contact most of the time we find that your eyes move away when you welcome that person keep your eye contact and keep that smile that shows that, that person is valued and that meeting is very very important also to you as a person who is having that visitor ensure that you have that small talk engage that person on how did they find their way to your organization was it difficult to locate uh, the office was it difficult did they have traffic did they have any challenge coming and locating your office such a talk that is away from the main business is very very important to strike a good rapport with the client then ensure that you maintain active listening you have to ensure that you keep your ears wide open listen attentively to the side of this client what they are talking about interject where you can ask questions for clarification ensure that you have active listening and there is one mistake that many people make the person who is engaging the client for the first time might be a very busy person might be a ceo maybe a manager or a person who is in charge of the meeting and sometimes you receive calls that come from other clients or from people from the same organization but they're not aware that you are having a meeting if you haven't put your phone on flight mode request for permission as you take that call can i take this call or can I do this and this and this first? Then we come back to our uh, discussion. It's very, very good. That's a good way to communicate and to ensure that the client feels valued and that the whole attention is on the meeting. Then again, when you have a question that you feel that you should ask at some point, you can request for permission. Can I interject? Can I ask you this? Can I get more clarification on that? And if you have to maybe come to a place whereby you feel like this meeting will require some follow-up meeting, you can ask the client, can we do this next week? Is it possible for us to meet next week? Kindly, can you write me an email to follow up? Kindly, can you call me next Friday to follow up? that's nice nice language etiquette that you ought to employ so that they can feel that you have valued them and before they leave always maintain that culture of thanking that person for the meeting always maintain that culture of appreciating that person for the business or looking forward to do business and also if the business won't work kindly there are nice ways of telling that person uh, we are not going to engage in this at this particular time but we shall keep your contact and we shall give you a call when the time comes that we want to engage in that business those are just some few tips that you may miss out quick tips but you may miss out and you ruin the whole business meeting bye bye for now and see you next time